Hey friends, Lola here. I want to sell this digital workbook I created on Dropbox Shop. Dropbox Shop is a new way to sell digital content online. I went in and set it up and I'm going to let you see it. So it's easy to set up. You add your items, you enable payments, and you add your creator info. You can sell any digital content online, consider it as appropriate, and that you have the rights to sell it. Once you sell an item, additional downloads do require email validation. This helps to minimize bad actors selling your content like it's theirs. Dropbox does offer built-in analytics that give you valuable insights to help you sell better. Here's what you'll need to start. Dropbox, currently the setup happens on desktop versions only. You'll need the file you plan to sell, a preview of the file, audio, video, or an image, and you can upload multiple previews so that your shoppers can see different versions of the item you're selling. You'll need a product name, description, price, creator info, name, bio, and an image, and a payment account. Let's get started. Tap on that menu, upper left-hand corner, hit shop beta. When I initially set up my Dropbox shop, I just added one item because I wanted to see what it would look like. One item here is not balanced when you're looking at it on a desktop device. However, on a mobile device, it does look more balanced to have one item in there. If you're setting up your shop, I would suggest that you put at least three items in it. Because again, if somebody looks at it on a desktop, it will look weird with just one or two items there. And on the mobile device, it'll look fine, but on the desktop, it'll look weird. So I would put a minimum of three items in my shop if I was setting it up. So you'll see that Dropbox shop actually mimics what social media looks like. It looks like a social media feed. I think that's cool. I think that it's familiar to people and this is going to make it easier for people to buy from you. I think this will make it easier for sellers to sell and shoppers to shop. The fact that this looks like a timeline, the fact that this looks like a social media site that I'm already using, I'm already familiar with, I already am comfortable with. It's a cool way to sell your digital content online. So you, this content that you're selling is already content that you have in your Dropbox. So you're not selling anything that's not in Dropbox. Dropbox does say that you can easily go in and create products listings in three clicks. And I did find that the process is very, very easy and that it doesn't take much to set it up. It's a very simple process. Very, very easy process. I've seen you set up a shop before on another platform and it looked extremely complex and difficult, but literally you set this up in probably about five minutes and that that's just so easy. And that is not an exaggeration. As Dropbox says here, get up and running in no time. Easily create product listings in three clicks. Add content directly from Dropbox or your computer. Set a custom image, audio, or video preview and determine your price. It was really that easy. Currently, Dropbox is partnered with Stripe and PayPal. And Dropbox is not charging you anything extra to use this feature. If someone buys something from your store, then the only thing that you're paying is going to be whatever you've already agreed to pay Stripe and PayPal to process that payment for you. You can sell any type of content. Granted, it's yours and it's appropriate. And when I say yours, you own the rights to it or you have the legal rights to sell it. Dropbox is going to automatically deliver the content for you, which is great because this knocks out third parties that you might potentially use. This knocks out your need to have to set up a website explicitly to sell from. That doesn't mean you don't need a website for something else, but if you're setting up a website to sell, then this knocks out that whole process. This feature I think is pretty cool and uh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I can see Dropbox Shop being a great way for people that have digital content to sell and that aren't necessarily tech savvy or don't have the funding to go out and pay someone to set up a store. I can see this being a very easy, easy alternative for them to sell their items. And you can sell everything here. So you can sell videos, you can sell files, you can sell images, 
Dropbox just wants you to sell things that are appropriate and things that are yours or that you have the rights to sell. So whether that be a course, whether it be some artwork, whether it be a recipe that your grandmama passed down from generations to generations, you can get on here and sell. Look at this. It says the new this new platform allows creators to easily sell content from ebooks and recipes to prints and work out videos directly to their customers so they can spend more time doing what they love, which is creating. So that is very, very cool, right? That's so, so cool. So yeah, let's get back into something else that I saw here. Not only does my Dropbox shop mimic social media, not only is it a very easy setup, and a very easy, simple way for you to sell your digital content. Currently, Dropbox is not charging for that. So here's some FAQs about Dropbox Shop. Does Dropbox charge for selling on Dropbox Shop? No, the only transaction fee is a processing fee or payment providers charge. So whatever you're paying, Stripe, whatever you're paying, PayPal is the only thing you'll be charged. Yeah. Okay. And Stripe and PayPal are Dropbox's current partners. So that's why we only named them. But yeah, I thought that was cool. And I'm like, man, this is, I can see Dropbox using this to like knock out some third parties. Cause like, why wouldn't I do it? I already have Dropbox. They're not charging me anything extra. Like sometimes with the websites you use, like you have the website that you're paying for your site and the hosting you pay it either monthly or annually or however you pay it and then on top of that they're charging you for extra features which an extra feature is going to be commerce or it's going to be a way for you to sell so you're either paying like some flat fee for that or maybe you're paying a monthly add-on charge and then they could say on top of that hey we want to charge you a percentage of whatever item you're selling from us and then boom you're paying them that and then you still got to pay paypal or stripe and it's like wait a minute dropbox just cut all of that out for me yeah you made me just want to sign up for dropbox immediately all of that so what we can say is that yeah this seems like seems like it's going to be really cool i hope that dropbox like gets this right i can absolutely see this being like adopted by mass users since this is a beta it is not available for everyone just yet however if you are interested you can go to the dropbox website and there should be an, a link available for you to request access to it absolutely so we hope you enjoy it if you have any questions leave them down there in the comments we'll be glad to take them in the meantime we hope you all have the most amazing life until next time.